everybody, Susie Q here, and welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. Today I want to talk about my quarantine tank. I cannot believe that this happened again. I cannot believe that this happened again. Let me start at the beginning. It all started when I went to one of my local fish stores and picked up some quarry cats. I just love quarry doors. I got about 10, 11 in my 125. And those 11 are stir by quarry cats. And then probably about six months later, I added another dozen Julie quarry cats. So in this tank here for the 125, I have a couple dozen quarry doors. Um, and because the tank is so big, they're, they're kind of hard to see, they're kind of hard to find. So I was going to add these um, 12 new quarry casts to this tank as well after they get out of uh, quarantine. So I went up and I got the uh, Peleatus Coriodorus, which is the pretty much a very common one, the peppered quarry cat. Very beautiful. I absolutely love quarry cats. They're the cutest little things. They're bottom dwellers. They dig down, churn up stuff. It's they have these little barbels. They are absolutely adorable. So I picked up six Peleatus quarry cats and I picked up six green quarries, which are the uh, Splendus, Corridor Splendus. I absolutely love them. So I got them about six weeks ago and I put them in a quarantine tank, a little a 29 gallon tank that I have in my kitchen. And while I was at the store, I also got like, a, what was it? I got the Hygrofolia, Salisfolia, Hygrofolia, one of the long narrow leaves. Yeah, that, the Hygrofolia, Hygrofolia, Salisfolia. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. One of the Hygrofolias that I love because uh, they're very hardy and sturdy and they're very affordable so if the quarantine started going where I needed medication I wouldn't be too heartbroken but I wanted to add a couple plants to my quarantine tank so I got the Crypt Wendy I got I, I want to say it's a sword plant but it, I don't think it's an Amazon sword it was already been eaten and chewed down from my turtles there's a little bit tiny piece left that I, I put in that tank and it started growing a little bit which was perfect for this kind of tank I wanted to make sure that, you know, quarry cats, they love live plants. So, and I wanted them to be a little bit more at home. And I knew I had like a uh, cryptocorian, I think bronze. When did I? So I had a crypt, I had the uh, hygrofolia I added. So aside from the crypts, I also got some java fern and, and I put an anugus back there. I brought the fish home and I, uh, acclimated them first to the temperature and then I poured a little bits of water in and put them in this quarantine tank. Now for the most part my quarantine tanks if I'm going to do four to six weeks in quarantine I won't use any medication unless I have to. That's not here nor there. Uh, sometimes I notice right away I should or if I get like puffers, pea puffers, I always medicate with for uh, dewarming. So I put them in this the 29 gallon and this tank was the substrate kind of hideous. Nah, it's grown on me, but it's all leftover substrate, all leftover gravel. It's whatever I had left over with some um, aqua soil, but it's all mixed matched because it's all just dumped in a bucket when I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Because a lot of times if I have to use some certain medications, I think it's the methylene blue, it stains the gravel. So I'm not too worried about it. It's my quarantine time. So I added them in there. And for the first couple of weeks, they looked amazing. They were doing good. The green ones, as you can see, they're just adorable. They're much smaller. Uh, the Peleatus ones, a little bit bigger. The male is going to get about two and a half inches, where the female will get three inches. They're cute little bottom dwellers. So anyway, I was watching them for a couple of weeks, and they were going good. Because this quarantine tank is in my kitchen, I was admiring them all the time. Real easy to see. Now, if you look, if you see here in my 125, you can, if you stare long enough, you can see the quarry cats. 
but they're so small and there's so many hiding spots that they're you don't really see them as much as I thought you would. There's probably 11 quarry cats here and because the tank is so big they're, they're a little harder to see. Which is fine, but in the kitchen quarantine tank they're looking good. And then the hygrofolia started growing in real nice. I'm like, this is looking really nice. I bet you those tetras would go really beautiful up here. Okay, so I had these other um, Tetras from the local fish store that I go to that is by my work location. You know how some people have work husbands, work wives? Well, I have a work LFS. <laughs> but I don't have a problem. Anyway, they had these blue caries or blue caries, little blue Tetras. They're absolutely stunning. The most royal blue I've seen. Uh, with little white tips on their tail gorgeous gorgeous so they're um, sitting in another quarantine and they've done their they've done their stint so the cor corridors after six weeks looking good I didn't see any medical issues everybody's eating well gaining weight so instead of taking them out and putting them in another tank the hyperfolia was filling out really nice the crypt had settled in um the quarry cats looked absolutely adorable so i took my blue carries out and put them in that tank as well that has since become one of my favorite tanks so i love watching it while i'm eating my dinner it's just it's something about it and i don't know it's a very simple setup and i absolutely love it so the last thing I want to do is take all these fish out and put them where I was planning on putting them and disrupting this, this beautiful feeling I have when I watch them. So I lost my quarantine tank. There's no longer a quarantine tank. This is my little Tetra and Cory Cat tank. <laughs> That's in my kitchen. I can't tell you how many times I had a designated quarantine tank that has turned into a show tank, a f if you will, a fish tank, the forever home for these fish. And so in order for me to have another quarantine tank, I either have to set up another tank or I have to prepare another tank to be the quarantine tank. So. I can't tell you how many times this has happened. I set up a quarantine tank with good intentions and this is going to be my quarantine tank and it was set up in the kitchen so I could observe them very closely. And look at this tank. I just absolutely love it. I just... longer a quarantine tank. This is a tank that houses my little blue tetras and my quarry cats. So, but just curious, how many people, how many of you have set up a quarantine tank for the designated purpose to observe your fish before putting them in the tank they're designated for and end up turning that tank into a, one of your fish tanks? I know I can't be the only one out there, but it happens time and time again. But don't worry, I will find another tank to designate as my quarantine tank. As a matter of fact, I have some fish going outside in summer tubs quite soon. So I will be making one of those tanks my new quarantine setup. I just... I don't know why I do that. <laughs> but I know I can't be the only one. So thanks guys for coming along and checking out my brand new little Cory Cats, my blue Tetras, my blue Carry, Carai, Carai, blue Carry, Tetras, I call them blue Carries. 
my blue carry tetras and my cory cats and how my quarantine tank is no longer. So thanks guys and I will see you next time.